to win the Derby. It's the greatest race in the world. It's, it's what it's all about. And it's everybody's dream. Every owner, trainer, anybody associated with dogs just wants to win the Derby. And to win it for the second time, it's just the sweetest, greatest feeling that you can ever feel. It's been a while since, um, since that fateful night. Derby success for Razzle Dazzle George. We've just seen him in his kennels. And He's in absolutely bouncing order. Yeah, bouncing order, and uh, he's nearly raring to go again, but um, he's had a long year, so we'll leave him off now. Can you remember the night in question? Like, I know it probably was a blur, but it was a special occasion. Yeah, it was a tremendous occasion. Yeah, I can remember it well, and uh, what a fantastic feeling. Like, every minute of every day here is about winning the Derby and uh, for it to come true on Saturday night with a home bread, it was just the most fantastic feeling that I've ever felt. Of course, the next five minutes will probably be a blur. The next 10, 20 minutes, I'm sure, will be a blur. Yeah, well, it, not so much some, a blur, it was just so much happening. It was like everybody wanted to congratulate me and all the interviews and, and what, what a feeling like. And uh, just, I was so proud of George as well on the night and uh, to say we pulled it off, it was, it was just something dreams are made of. We had Megan there on the night as well and Megan's been a big part in parading the dogs all throughout the Derby. So yeah, big team effort. Now the big question was who decided who was to parade each dog? Well on this occasion I had no say in the matter. <laughs> Megan decided because she'd paraded most of the dogs all throughout the Derby and um, Megan decided then so when I asked her who did she want to parade she said oh I'll wait till Saturday night to decide. So even on Saturday I didn't know who I was going to parade but in the end she picked George and uh, by God she knew what she was doing. I said on the night of the Derby to yourself that had it been in earlier rounds, he probably wouldn't have a little bit further. He looked at he looked a tired dog in the last two or three rounds of the Derby, but as I said, determination, bravery got him there. But yes, you see him coming out of the kennel today, and he's pulling your arm off trying to trying to get out to the field. Yes, um, you know it has been a long year because I went to England in January, so I was back and forth to England with them for a campaign in England, and then he had six rounds of the English Derby and then he had six rounds of the Irish Derby and he ran the Champion Stakes and the Easter Cup. So when you're at that level of competition, uh, to keep at a peak and in your prime, you know, it's, it's a big ask. And uh, it was really testament to what the dog was about because on the night it was definitely down to bravery. Yeah, when they hit the back straight and I saw a Dream Walker in contention with them and the two of them went ding dong down the back straight, I, I knew I was there with a big say and I knew George was going to be really strong and really, you know, really wanted it. Um, but I also knew that Dream Walker was a really strong dog and was going to be very hard to pass. So I knew we really had a battle on our hands. But um, George's bravery, I think, won the day. And just coming to the line, I was lucky I was on the line and I just had a, a great feeling that he was up. But I said nothing, but I just had a great feeling and um, it was just right on the line and that feeling was just wow. You know we're talking it's now the middle of September, what would be a good year for you in 2012? Uh, to win the English and the Irish Derby. No that's a dream year, <laughs> what would be a good year? <laughs> to keep them all sound really, uh, that, that would be really a really good year.